This is Romantic Country by Early. I've got the English version. Early's kind of like the sort of Joanna Basford of Japanese colouring books. Even before the English versions came out, there's so many sort of English and American people I knew who had gone and bought the Japanese version. Start with this very glossy coloured cover. And inside you've got the sort of classic Japanese cardboard cover. Some images from books so you could colour those very easy. It's got a good tooth. There's actually three books in the series, Romantic Country 1, 2 and 3. Um, so far, the first two are out in English. The third one is due out in May. Um, no sign of a fourth one yet in, in the Japanese editions, but fingers crossed. Now the wonderful thing about her, actually looking here we've got a little story about the fantasy land of Sokokut, probably mispronouncing that. Um, and also it says to use approximately 700 toothpicks to draw the images ink books. Yeah, she actually uses ink and toothpicks, which gives a beautiful, for the pages are very thick, and sort of cream coloured with lovely brown ink from the toothpicks. We've got a little map in there, map. and then it goes into chapters, which is another common feature of a lot of Japanese colouring books. You can see like the ink isn't super consistent because you see how it's darker there, more fade there, and that's because she uses toothpicks. But I think that adds to the charm of this book. Because you follow the child and their little duck through the little duck the one you're following around has got always got a little neck scarf on. Got a lovely tooth to the book. Um, so you give the pens, pencils, um, the watercolour if you use it sparingly. The sort of ink tends to again use the water quite sparingly. beautiful forests and lakes. And the thing about having chapters is that you can sort of think, okay, I'm going to finish this chapter. You've got that sort of sense of accomplishment when you finish a chapter. next thing on there. The writing is in English. I think the writing in the original Japanese is in English as well. Not too sure. Static collection. Halloween. I love how they've got like sort of like a Christmas image, a Halloween image. Seeing there, some lovely castles as well, and then you've got a little index here where you can look a little sentence or two about each image. Then at the back of the book, you have that little extra something as you're having quite a few of the Japanese books. And you have sort of posters and cut out figures that you can play with. Which is quite hard to um, 
Show this in the camera. So you've got these. So you've got these fold out seams, you've got that bit there, that bit there, and then you've got these images which you cut and cut out and play with the seams below. And that is the end of Romantic Country first book.